Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new tonight. I am sharing with you a super easy grocery haul and I'm also sharing with you a fabulous exercise bike that I'm in love with. I've pushed my other one to the side that was way more expensive and I will share that with you guys because it is practical and budget friendly and you know that's how I roll on this channel. So I figured you might absolutely love it because I now have it in my room and use it every day. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this haul, you guys. Okay, let's start over here. <clears throat> I got one case of this, only because these used to be $2.59, and now they are $4.39, I think, $4.40, something like that. So I just got a case of this for Ryan because we still have pop for the other kids. And then I got two strawberries because these, I can't remember the price, but they were actually way cheaper than Kroger and comparable to Aldi, so they had the two pounds, so they were actually really cheap for Walmart, and they're really, they're actually really pretty looking, like the fresh produce. Usually it's hit and miss there. And then I got paper towels. These were like six dollars and something, so not a bad price there either, because that's one thing that's always really expensive at Walmart. And I got sweet potatoes. They were like two ninety eight. A bag of russet potatoes. It was like three seventy six for these. I'm going to open these though because they're wet and I just don't like when the potatoes are wet. I don't know why they're wet, but they're like that in the grocery stores a lot and I won't pick them up if they're wet because they get real moldy. They get real mildewy. And I got some cantaloupe. The blueberries were on, I think they were $2.76. The blackberries are really pretty. Look at those. I think they were around the same price. Then two pineapples because I think they were like $1.98. Bag of salad mix. We'll see what that looks like, but you know that stuff never lasts. It's good for like one day. And then we got some peppers, which those actually look pretty decent. Oh, sorry, there's stuff on there. And then a watermelon. Was the watermelon was more at Walmart? It was four seventy six, but like the other stores had them for two ninety nine. But honestly, I just wanted a watermelon, so I picked it up because it's seedless. So there is that side. Then the eggs were actually cheaper than everywhere else. I can't remember the exact price, but they were much cheaper than the other, than Aldi's and Kroger. Picked up some juice, two things of milk, the almond milk, which I do like, uh, great value almond milk. Got some creamer, the sugar-free kind. I did pick up two of these, but they only gave me one, so they accidentally, like this one busted out, they forgot my other one, but I went on and did a refund for it. And then this I thought was going to look different, but I got the turkey breast, and then I got ham. I didn't have any ham in the great value brand. I got the kids gross, like fake cheese. Then I got Kobe Jack, Pepper Jack, we always get that. I picked these up, I don't, I've bought these years ago, but I usually, it's been a while since I've made them and frozen them. So I picked these up for the morning because they usually get waffles. But waffles were like $4.19, these were $3.76, so you get like, these just look something different. I ordered French Toast Bites because they had the little bites, but they were out of them. Then I got Kobe Jack cheese, ketchup, mayo, and ranch. Then I got, this actually goes with the recipe, so I picked those up. Tanner loves fudge rounds and oatmeal cream pies, so I picked those up. Then I picked the strawberry wake cereal for me. I know it's like a baby box, but I like it. Picked up cinnamon crunch, because they like that. Emily's the one that eats the fruit bars, those fruit and grains. The french fries were actually really cheap. They were only $3 and something for this two pound bag. Um, the little bags I get at Kroger are every bit of $3.76 for just one bag. And I got, these were already in my cart from where I tried to make one the other week, so I just picked those up. Oh shoot, I ordered two of these, they only gave me one. I'll have to refund that one too. Then I ordered three bags of ranch. Um, this is what we can't ever find at Aldi's anymore. Um, and Kroger never has the generic, so I was happy they had these. I got three bags of those, because you guys know Ryan does not like the nacho cheese, but I pick up, he likes the cool ranch. And then I picked up a bag of Ripple's um cheddar and sour cream so i think that is it all of this i did have a coupon because i was using a new email address so it was actually a little bit less it took off like a few dollars but um i think it ended up being 127 for all of this and all of this so really i was shocked with walmart it doesn't look like i have as much stuff as i do at aldi but it's like a hundred and i don't know 150 dollars less so there we go and here is the meal plan I didn't write it up there yet. We'll see if I stick to it or not, which I already have it. 
I actually had brought some sauerkraut on for tomorrow, but if you hear that popping back there, Ryan's actually cooking that up tonight. I froze the brats that I had before they went bad last week. We didn't get to them. And then um, he's making, he makes sauerkraut with like jalapenos and stuff in it. So I will flip flop the days. I'll make oven chicken salad because I did buy fresh chicken last week, but I didn't, I didn't need it. I froze it. We had a lot going on. So I put that in the freezer. So I will make the oven chicken salad. That's why I have the croutons. And then I've got french fries or something else to go with that. Then I'm going to make the chicken crescent roll ups because I still have crescent roll up, crescent rolls from last week's order. And then I've got mac and cheese in there and I've got green beans in the cabinet. So I'll use that stuff up. Um, sorry, I've got paint all over my hands. And then um, this is a really easy recipe. So I've already have all the ingredients for that. Then this was that recipe I wanted to try that was new, but I don't, I forgot to get ground beef or ground turkey. I'm about to check the freezer and see if I have any. I was going to make, it was off that Elise Ellis's uh, meal plan for Crunchwrap casserole where it's got like protein in it, but it, it was like all layered. It looked really good. And I've got the tostadas for it. I just have to double check to see if I have the meat. Then I was going to do Phillies one night. I was originally going to do the Philly tacos that were in her meal plan that were like totally different. We'll see what we do because I've still got the buns that need to be used up. And then fries. And then we will be gone Saturday because Tanner has a football thing. So that is the meal plan for the week. So here is the Yasuo bike that I am going to test out and share with you guys and explain. Gat's going to put it together for me because he's going to test. So there is the way the box comes, which is kind of handy because it shows you actually how to unbox it and what to do. So it makes life easier. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, she is put together and I was waiting to do this video because I was waiting to test it out, see how I liked it, see whether it was worth the hype because it's been on... I've seen it on Facebook, I've seen it on Instagram, I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen this bike everywhere. And my friend has this bike and loves it. And she also has a Peloton. I don't have a Peloton because that's just crazy expensive. But I do have an Echelon and I can already tell you this like, and I wanted to give an honest review on this. I didn't want to just like say, oh, okay, I'll try this bike out and promote it um, because I already have an Echelon. Oh my gosh, this is 10 million times better than my Echelon, and it's cheaper than my Echelon. So, I'm not even using my Echelon at this moment, because I've had issues with it since I started it, and I'll show it to you in a minute, but I've had nothing but issues with my Echelon since I started it. My programming has never worked right. I've never been able to connect to get the right like cadence and all that kind of stuff on there. You have to have the app to even get like your minutes up on the screen. It's, I just, I'm not a fan. I'm probably going to sell it, to be honest with you, or keep it in case one of the kids wants it, now that I have this. So this bike is just, it looks, it looks very appealing anyway, but that's not, you know, like I like this, it's not going to stay in this space, I've just got it up here because we're currently moving our gym around, and I'm actually thinking I want to put this in my room. So some of the stuff that I want to show you guys, and I'll show you the screen in a minute that I have downstairs, look how big this screen is. So my TV downstairs doesn't always connect. There's no, there's like a little tiny screen on the echelon. Look at this thing. This is massive. This is a massive screen. So look, and the cool part about this is, so if you're riding your bike, say you're done with your bike and you wanna do weights, you wanna do something else. You need your bike to um, be, um, you know, you wanna move it. The screen rotates, guys. Look at this. The screen rotates. It rotates. Look at that. Look at that. No, it's in front. That is awesome. Because I've never seen a bike that does that. I don't know. I'm just used to my little mini screen on my overpriced bike. So this screen is huge. So here's another cool thing this, this does. This has, um, you can plug your phone into it because that's how you, um, you can screen share is what it's called. I apologize. You can screen share. So like the, the screen rotates 360 degrees. So you can also screen share this because it has a four speaker system with two subwoofers. So that is crazy. You can elevate your workout with like awesome sound quality. And let me show you. 
Where's my phone? I'm gonna show you what I do. I need to find a stand for this, hang on. Okay, so what you do, it's got this USB cord, micro USB, and there's one, they, they have them set for like whether you have an iPad, or no, I'm sorry, whether you have an iPhone or whether you have an Android, you have two cords that connect. So this one would be for the um, iPhone. Mine is not, I have um, Android. So what it does, can you see the screen that's popped up? There we go, it has this little stand here and you can, you can scan this to download your app. So it's got this little stand here, it moves, it's very heavy, like so it'll keep your phone propped up or your iPad or whatever you wanna put there. So what you do, it has this little button at the bottom, right? So this controls the screen and you just, it works like kind of like a mouse pad. So for example, I wanna to go to Google, I wanna to go to YouTube and it pulls YouTube right up on the screen. So look, and I can pull my own video up. But you can, um, so for example, let me see. So you're gonna wanna connect to Bluetooth. You're gonna push the button. Bluetooth mode. Make sure you connect your Bluetooth. My Bluetooth is on. Oh, I just realized I didn't have my volume turned on. There oh. we go. And then you're gonna hit the button for audio. And now feast. you can turn it up with your phone. Apparently, according to Emerson, See? And then you go back over here. Come, come, just come. So you wanna skip the ad. You're Hello, hello, and look, hello, you guys. Then you got the Today video up. I am sharing with you a and you can turn it up like a set. Of some grocery hauls. No, it's not from this week. Okay. I may see Sorry, let me pause myself. I don't need to listen it, but, like, to that. Don't relate to right now. But you guys, I have Sorry. Some... Okay. So that is how you control everything. Then, if you don't want to do that, so there's an app for this. There is an app for this whole program. It's the Soul Fitness app. And you can go to it. And it has all kinds of programs. They do have like different levels where you can pay for a membership. It has free stuff, has workouts, challenges. I haven't um, done many workouts because I like to ride and watch stuff. I'm one of those people. So let's connect over to one of these. Like, let's see what it does. So here's what we can do. You can go over to the app. You can choose whatever program you want. And so like, here's a program, for example, and it gives you all of this information. You can ride along with them, do the program. So it's pretty awesome. And you can pause it if you need to, just like you use this to control everything. So up here, I don't know if you can see this in the corner. I'll try to zoom in on this so you guys can see this better. So up here, and this is not touch screen, up here, no matter what you're doing, this will show like your minutes, everything, and it will pause, you can pause it. So you don't even have to be in the app, you don't have to be in the program, if you're watching YouTube, it's gonna show you all that information on there. It is awesome. So here is the resistance, you can increase it, decrease it, it's got the handlebars here. This is kinda like if you wanna put your cup there. Um, and then the pedals, you don't have to have bike shoes, I just use normal shoes, you can lock that in like that. And then you can change your seat back here with this little knob um, and this is super easy to use you can adjust your seat move it up or back um, with just the dial so it is great because my echelon is a pain I cannot hardly adjust it um, I usually just leave it alone and I ride uncomfortably um, so Ryan is not a fan of these types of bikes he loves this bike he doesn't like bike seats so I'm gonna see if I maybe get a wider bike seat because you know men don't especially love this kind of seat but he has a, um, what bike is his? His bike is the um, uh, recumbent bike. He prefers it because of his back, but he has been using this every morning now since I've put it in my dining room <laughs> and he loves it. So we actually battle over it. The kids have gotten on it. I just love, love, love this bike, you guys. Not because I um, am being asked to like promote it, um, I just said I would share my honest review and I absolutely love it. And I just noticed my name was up there <laughs> in the workout. Another thing with this big screen share, you can pull your text messages up on here if you need to do things. You can pull up, you know, you can multitask while you're riding on the bike. Um, you can pull it up and see the big screen. You can text message. You can do it all on this bike. It's crazy. Also, you guys, this bike is way more affordable than what? The $2,000 Peloton. Echelon is like $500 or more and it is not even half the type of bike that this one is So I have a discount code for this for $100 off. My code is 6, the word 6, 100 It takes $100 off. This bike is $399 with my discount. It is exceptional 
if you were looking at all the millions of bikes that are out there and you're wanting something um, I actually keep this in my room because I I can use my echelon and I don't burn a sweat I get on this bike in 10 minutes in I'm sweating so I'm not sorry I'll do like a full view but I look a hot mess right now so like look you just put your feet in pedal it'll track it it's awesome you guys I'm gonna show you the back of this it tells you exactly how to hook all this up super easy to do these are the cords to connect your phone that is for your speaker you know it's got all this and if you have an um, iPhone you'll just plug the other cord that it comes with into that pretty simple setup I mean, Gavin literally used he took me borrowed that from Ryan use that it's got instructions and it's got all this it tells you exactly how to do it there's all the tools and he didn't it didn't take him long to build it so love it and I actually didn't notice that they sent me a uh, video and there's a video on YouTube that shows you how to build the bike I had no idea so Gavin literally built it just from um, reading some of the book and did it so not hard at all guys look how slim it is I have the fit in there uh, I put this in the corner of my room so like I have a TV up there but look I put it in the corner of my room if it's perfect yeah, sorry, this is a mess down here. I'm in the process of moving everything and I need to paint the floor. So this is my echelon that I said I have. So look, look how, don't mind the mess. Look how little the screen is. And it just, I like, I mean, I do like my bike. Don't get me wrong, but it is nowhere the same and is way more expensive than my other one, than the Yasol, because I could never get the settings to work on this, like the cadence and all of that to, to like track my things. And then you have to pay, a, like there's a few, there's like two programs that are free or you got to pay like, I don't know, $30 a month for the program. So it's just, ah, it's so expensive. And I didn't know that at the time. So I've been super disappointed in my experience with Echelon. That's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up. Say hey in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.